is awesome. Look at this, you guys. We're getting this thing done. This is gorgeous. <laughs> oh my goodness, Christopher, you are doing such an amazing job. Those corbels, yeah. that is crazy. We are coming along. I still have, obviously, a lot more to do, but it looks like there's a lot more done since the last time you saw this. Oh yeah. I mostly focused on the upper portion. So starting from the top up, what I did is I just took a two by six and it actually was the perfect size of overhang on the other side and on the front side. So I just literally screwed that straight down to the top. It's all one piece going on this side. So it locks the three walls all in place, kind of adds some strength. And then I added a couple pieces of decorative trim down there. It's not exactly like the real one, but it's close enough. I mean, I even tried to match some of the grout lines kind of where they match. It's kind of funny because the grout lines actually weren't centered perfectly like my brain wants to do on this. So everything's kind of off, but I think it's because it had gone through a couple remodels or something like that. Once we start adding the aging on here, I think it's really gonna look awesome. awesome. To create some of those grout lines, I just used a metal cutoff wheel in the grinder, went down, and this is where I was talking about, about it not being symmetrical. The spacing on some of my grout lines is different, but like I said, I just kind of eyeballed the, the real one and kind of matched it. I think it kind of breaks it up, so it actually works out, I think, to give it a kind of a, a realistic feel. And it was really cool, Gina brought up the corpals because Originally, I was thinking that I was gonna maybe carve one of them out of foam and then make like a mold and replicate them. But I ended up figuring out a really easy way to do it out of wood. Uh, it was still a lot of work, but it, making them out of different pieces of wood and then adding all the pieces together. I built the whole top section and shot it all together and then attached it to this trim here. And then I just put the whole thing up and shot it that way. And then I just added these bottom sections here, where, which is just basically a bunch of slices that I made. And then I used a Dremel to create these uh, rounded pieces in here. And then I went over with some drywall mud, kind of filled it in. I've got to go back through here and do another layer of paint and stuff. And then down here on this level of wood is basically just a couple pieces shot in an L. And then I created this cove trim made a little pop out so that I go around it and then I created these three little angled pieces of wood and then shot those on. So it's just several different pieces. It took forever. I climbed the ladder a million times, got lots of exercise. All the trim and molding uh, we either purchased or I went ahead and just made it. For the section that's right above the corbels, I basically built another pop out just like this one, but a little bit bigger. And then I added the crown molding to the outside of it. And I cut little triangle pieces to give it some support around there. And then on the very top, I also went ahead and skinned the top of it with the quarter inch plywood, just so the rain wouldn't fill in there and stuff. You can see how I skinned the top of this with Lou on so that it wasn't all open on the top. Down here, I've got a couple layers of plywood to give it the pop out, and then I added this little strip and uh, the, the little round over trim that goes around everything. That piece over there in the middle is a piece of MDF that I just kind of carved out with my disc sander, and then I added some pieces of plywood to give it that pop out trim. It's going to look a lot better once I cover this with a couple more layers of paint. And then these guys right here, I thought at first that they were like rain gutters where the rain maybe flows down, but they're, they're also decorative pieces that I stuck in here. I still have to create some pop outs that go all the way down in this level right here, but um, they're, they're basically just brick that have been offset from the rest of the brick. I also did the two center pieces in between the windows on this side as well. They're not as fancy and decorative as the front, but I did not have to cut out the plywood. I just literally put two layers of uh, quarter inch plywood right on top of the existing plywood that I had for the walls. But this one up here, I actually tore this piece of plywood off so that it would give me plenty of space to create all my layers of decorative um, wood there. Otherwise, if I wouldn't have done that, it would have stuck out past these offsetting bricks and I just didn't think that was going to look as nice. I went through and I added a couple of these cross braces in here just by 
adding some glue and then shooting from an angle. I've got to still go uh, back in here and add some black window trim and cut the plexiglass. The plan is to slide the plexiglass in and then just box it in. I can always access this from the backside through the walls inside the playhouse if I ever need to, but uh, we want to still put some LED modules in there. We may paint this a color so that the light reflects like some kind of color from it. Again, I've got to uh, add some brick here. The plan is I'll just have little half inch bricks. I'm not sure if I'm just going to run it through the table saw to add the grout lines kind of like I did down here. Um, but I have a lot of scrap pieces that I want to try to use up so it doesn't cost us a lot of extra money. So I still have to carve the medallion that goes right here, hard coat this and then paint it all black. Uh, so add a little bit more details to the door. I got to go through and fill in all my staples and some of these grout lines that are a little deep and things like this. Get it all good to go and then we'll go back in here with some different shades of, of grays and age it and kind of add a little bit more detail, give it a little bit of dimension. You can see down here we got all this brick finished. I also finished the bottom over here on this side to continue around. Like I said in the front windows, I've got to go back through here and add some little trim and add some window and some cross bracings in here. Down below, there will be another red door. This one's a man door. And I'm gonna, if I can, I'm gonna try to paint the little hook and ladder eight on the, the little fire door in there. Other than that, windows and the bricks, that's really all I have left to do. There are a few little pop outs that I gotta add in there. And then we will gotta do the Ghostbuster sign. And check out what I found at a yard sale. I cannot even believe that this was at one. Oh my gosh, you guys. The lady said she used it for a fireman uh, birthday party for her seven-year-old son. And she had all kinds of, you know, hats and stuff like that. But this, she said she got off of Amazon. And it's just a plastic, basically blow mold fire hydrant. But it fits in so perfectly. And... I got it for $2 if anyone was interested. <laughs> yeah, I wonder if we should paint it like the Playmobil one. It's got a, a couple little silver caps to hmm. give it a little bit more color, but it's it's perfect. You couldn't, I thought that was like maybe like a dog treat holder or something the way that, that would be fun yeah. too. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Can you imagine if that was in your pantry? How cute would that be? <laughs> Not much has changed on the inside except for there's a little bit more kittens for Vigo stuck all around. Still got some Halloween decorations and stuff to put away out here. So I remember to go upstairs. Look out! There's a giant spider on your slide. I know. Ah! See a friendly spider? Okay, show me what's over here. I know that spider. She, she just, I just can't get him out of the way that I slide up there. Huh? You look very comfortable up there. Do you? Maybe we could get up here. Whoa! That I know. I just have to do that. Okay, show me all the way at the top. Can you wave to me once you get up there? Hi! proton pack bad son we got another letter from a ghostbuster friend it looks like guess who i'm scared about eyes did you put those eyes on there or did they come like that i think harrison added his personal <laughs> touch to the letter <laughs> well this one came all the way from new hampshire so let's check it out son i think mom might have accidentally opened this up mom <laughs> you want to open up both ends? 
Why don't you just pull it out and see? What do you got in there? Whoa! Hey! Check that out! Isn't that neat? Wow, Harrison, check that out! That is really, really cool. The Granite State Ghostbusters. There you go. That's awesome. Okay. Looks like you got some another honorary things. Ghostbuster. This is so awesome, Harrison. Look at that. You got another certificate. And this one's from the Granite State. Welcome aboard, Dr. Raymond Stance. Whoa. This certificate acknowledges that the recipient is an honorary member of the Granite State Ghostbusters. That is so cool, Harrison. Dang, fancy letter. I know, it's very nice. <laughs> wow. Okay, you ready to hear this? You can look at this while you're reading this off. Huh? We at the Granite State Ghostbusters have really enjoyed watching your videos on building the Ghostbuster Playhouse for Harrison. We are very inspired by what you've built, that it has given us ideas for our own future builds. Awesome. We really enjoy seeing everyone's enthusiasm for the build for the Ghostbusters. Included with the letters and honorary Granite State Ghostbusters certificate for Harrison, business cards, and a Northeast Ghostbuster Alliance Task Force uh, Ecto. I got some what? water in my bottle. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks for sharing. Okay. Keep up the good work and keep on busting. Sincerely, your friends at Grand State Ghostbusters. Now check this out. That is so cool. So colorful. That is so awesome. I think you've been hanging out with your paranormal friends too much, Harrison. <laughs> so, Harrison, would you say thank you, Frank, and the Granite State Ghostbusters? Thank you, Frank, for all and the Granite State Ghostbusters. Yay! Yay! <laughs>
What are you building right there? A haunted mansion. Oh. It's just not staying. Well, you know how you do that, right? How? You have to sit there and hold it for like five hours. You gonna hold it for five hours? While Daddy goes in and watches a movie? Mm, I think you should keep working. <laughs> well, it's yeah. looking pretty awesome. Keep up the good work. Okay. <laughs> See you in five hours. I just want you to finish my stuff. Okay, I'll nail it right now. Here, now push the trigger. Push it. What you making now? Um, it's still engine. Cool. Are you gonna show everybody your carpentry skills? How you can hammer in the nail? Here, show us. Okay. And you get a nail, you hold it like that, so you don't hammer like that. Oh. The wrong way. You're doing a great job. All right. Now the it's looking is pretty go good. Twice as fast. Yep. He's made. Well, this is actually a haunted mansion fence. Oh, look at that brick. That looks good. Careful, don't poke your eye out, son. All right, it looks great, buddy. What about one right, one more right there? How about one right here? The one right here. <laughs> How about one right here? <laughs> one hand on there, good, and then that's your trigger finger. But it only works when you put, see how it doesn't go? You have to put it against the wood, okay? Good job. It's a good thing we have him helping, otherwise we'd never get this finished. That's right. But guess what happens to paint we text the wood? <laughs> yes, from all those ghosts and slimers that go through the walls. That's right. The paint actually adds a, a protective layer. You're doing a really good job, Harrison. Look at you. Did you do this whole section by yourself? Yes, you did. Wow. Dad, you're kind of slacking over here. I know. My brush. I can't Daddy. get in those gravel lines. Daddy's lovely. Whoa. Daddy's lazy. It's nice. I don't have to paint for once. <laughs> well, if you're more than welcome to jump in. <laughs> <laughs> Anytime. Do you like how I am? I love I it. Some, oh, you put some up there, too? Yeah. Okay. Sounds good. That's going to do it for this video, guys. If you've missed any of the ones from before, definitely go check out our channel. And yes. See all the insides and things that we've been doing. Also, we have lots of other videos of other prop builds and collection videos and all kinds of things. So thank you so much for watching. We'll see you guys next time.